YouTube, welcome back. Today on Kung Fu Science, I'm going to be talking about my opinions on the Conor McGregor versus Nate Diaz one and two fights. Okay, awesome fights both ways. If you don't know, I'm a huge fan. Conor McGregor, been a big fan since the beginning. As soon as I started watching him, it was really around the Chad Mendez fight that I just knew for sure. This guy is the man. But I was already paying attention to him and definitely liking his style and his personality. And the fact that he just totally believes in himself, he believes in what he says, and he puts in the work. That's all it takes. Hard work, belief, and saying what you're going to do, and then going out and doing it. That is the best way to do it. Look at him. Look at his, look at his results. It's legit. So anyway, Conor McGregor versus Nate Diaz. One and two. I watched them both live. I was absolutely devastated by the first one. I had a feeling that Nate would probably be a little more difficult just because of his size, but I had no idea that he would actually win. Um, Connor was not prepared for Nate. He was not prepared for such a giant fighter. He wasn't prepared for someone who just does not get knocked out. Just somebody you just cannot lay out for some reason. Just, I don't know, something about the fact that he smoked his brain out and also got his brains knocked out that it's just hard to knock the guy out. But anyway, he usually, or Conor McGregor usually uses mental warfare before he even gets in the fight, talks a bunch of mad trash, he insults people in a way where they just can't come back. He's so quick, he's so sharp, and he's witty. And he's got the fan support. And usually that messes people up before they even get in the ring with him. Usually they're so flustered by the time they get in there that he just straight up just is able to walk all over them because they're already so flustered. They're not really focused. They're not really thinking. They just want to tear his head off, right? But Nate, <laughs> I don't even think Nate really understood some of the stuff that Connor was saying to him. Most of the time, Nate's not even paying attention, it seems. People will be interviewing him, and he'll look right at him, and they'll ask him a question, and just be like, what was that? Man, I don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> and that's basically the response to everything. And he really truly does not give an F. He does not give it. He doesn't give it. And that's why he actually was able to beat Conor McGregor in the first round. Or in the first round, in the first match. Um, but even then, Conor was still schooling Nate from the beginning. From the very beginning, Conor was just faster, sharper, and better trained, really. I just feel like his training is better. Is just overall better. Um, but anyway, he still lost due to gassing himself out and being too confident. I talked about that before. You get too cocky and sometimes you that can, that can bite you in the ass. That can definitely bite you in the ass. Um, but anyway, it, it was a loss that was necessary, I believe, for his career because when you are winning all the time, it's hard to find your flaws and you know someone that can just literally point out your flaws and take advantage of them and then beat you because of it it's it could be devastating it could completely ruin you it could make or break you it could totally just break you but connor let it change him it let him mold him it let uh, he let it give him the motivation to do better and he came back in the second fight he fights him for all Five rounds. I can't believe it. That blew my mind. This is what this was my prediction. I said either he's gonna knock Nate Diaz out in the first round, Nate's gonna beat him again in the second or third round, or they're gonna go all five rounds. And that's the only those are the, those were my predictions. And that's pretty much the only way it could have went anyway. But anyway, I didn't really know for sure that it could do that, that it could go for all five rounds. But Connor schooled Nate. I would say at least 3.5 of the five rounds. He schooled him hardcore, especially in the first round, dropping him three times in a row with no effort at all. Those punches look like they barely flicked him and they just took him down. But again, Nate's brain is so fried already, he just didn't go out. He just laid there on the ground for a minute and got back up. There's this really funny claymation short of Connor and Nate fighting. And Connor kicks Nate in the leg. Nate goes down a little. Flips him off. Connor kicks him again. Goes out a little more. Flips him off. Kicks him again. He's laying on the ground, beat up. Flipping him off. <laughs> That's basically the way their fight went. Um, 
But yeah, Connor came back super pumped, super focused, stopped doing his traditional smile when he walks out, his, his stuff when he walks out, he didn't do that. Very stoic, very straight, and he's done that ever since, or his last two fights, it's been that straight thing. And then when he gets to the octagon, he was just standing there. He didn't bounce around like normal, he didn't do the, the squat immediately on the ground like normal, he just stood there and saved his energy. And uh, came in like a monster, came in insane. And yeah, he completely beat Nate. I mean, he won that fight, he definitely won that fight. Some people may not agree with me. If you don't agree with me, comment and let me know. Like, give me your opinions on why you think that um, Connor probably should have lost that second fight or whatever. I also think that the next fight, the 206, 209, 209, I think it is, 209, whatever, needs to be in Stockton because Nate did beat Connor. Nate did beat the guy that's just beating everybody, right? So Nate deserves another good big fight. He, needs, he deserves something in his hometown. Town. Plus, I think that would be good for the company because the Stockton people are all riled up because of Nate's recent success and, and failure. But anyway, I think that could get them some attention. But do I dislike Nate Diaz? Not really. I think he's baked most of the time. He's vegan, which is pretty cool. I'm a vegetarian. He, uh, that's pretty cool that he's a fighter, a professional fighter, and a marathon triathlon athlete, and he's vegan. That's a pretty cool concept. I appreciate that aspect of him. Um, but, I don't know. I mean, he seems like not, not a bad guy, but he's one of them gangster dudes, and it just seems kind of, yeah, I don't know, weird to me. But, anyway, I don't have any major judgments towards the guy. I don't have any negative thoughts towards the guy. It's just a goofy dude. Anyway, if you liked the video, definitely subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to grow this new channel. Got quite a few views on the old one, but at this time I'm focusing purely on, you know, making videos and, and, and content. So if you like what you see, help me grow. Share the stuff. Share the word. Comment. Like. Give me some more topics. Uh, that helps. Give me some more topics. If you like anything that you've seen so far, let me know. If you want to see something else, let me know. I keep saying the same thing. Let me know. Alright, so, until next time, thank you for watching Kung Fu Science. What's in your Kung Fu?